So we're now ready to mount our turbine on our tower. And just to run through the components that we'll be working with today, we have um, our blades here, three blades uh, made out of a fiberglass material. And the blades convert wind energy into rotational energy, which is used by our alternator, which is housed in this nacelle to create wild AC, wild alternating current. Um, we also have our tail vane here, which faces the turbine into the wind and also actually acts as a, um, an auto furl mechanism to turn the turbine out of the wind in high wind scenarios, which are 13 meters per second or around 30 miles per hour or greater. Uh, the startup speed of this machine is around 3 meters per second or 7 miles per hour. Uh, we also have our nose cap here, which we'll install last to kind of house all of our nuts and bolts on our nacelle, and um, we'll be ready to go. All right, so now that we've got our Kellum strap on the turbine and we've got our turbine actually resting in the top of the tower, we can hook up our three conductors to the three-phase output of the turbine. There's no polarity in three-phase power, so it, it doesn't matter which conductor goes to which output. All right, so we've got our, uh, our turbine up on top of the tower. We got our mounting bracket all lined up with our bolt, bolt holes, and we've got our bolt started. So uh, we just got our, uh, our torque wrench here set to 45 foot-pounds. Gonna apply a little bit of Loctite and tighten everything down 45 foot-pounds. So we've got all of our bolts tightened down. Um, so now we're just gonna go around and, uh, and tighten them down to 45 foot-pounds pressure. So we're now ready to attach our tail vane to our turbine. And we pre-assembled our actual vane to our boom with these um, nuts here. Now we're ready to actual, actually mount the vane. So we'll insert our, our pin through our holes. And then secure our pin with our cotter pins. So now that we have both of our cotter pins, um, seated and holding the tail boom in place. We're just going to pull out our edges here so that the cotter pins can't pass back through. <laughs> 